Yo, what's up YouTube? I hope all of you are having a great day so far. In today's upload, we are going to be going over the fastest way to get your knife gold in Cold War. If you find this video helpful at all, I would really appreciate if you could hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel and you want to get better at Call of Duty, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's all my content is about. But without further ado, let's get right into this guide. So to start things off, the primary obviously doesn't matter. I would just do whichever primary that you're trying to get gold on, and then you can get them both gold at the same time. The secondary obviously is going to be the knife. For the tactical, I recommend to run a smoke grenade, and for the lethal, you want to do the tomahawk of course if you're knife you always got to run the tomahawk it actually helps you out in a lot of situations too if like if you're running towards an enemy and they see you and you know that you're gonna die before you reach them you can just chuck that tomahawk kill them and then move on to his teammate for the field upgrade you can do the field mic or you can do the jammer whichever one that you like more i think the jammer is overall better but the field mic is a very good option and for the perks there's a couple different options that you guys can do so i would do the flat jacket or the tactical mask at least so just pick one of these whichever one that you die by the most for the second perk you want to do forward intel this is just so it makes your mini map a lot bigger you're going to be able to see lots more enemies on your radar so pretty much make it so you can die less because you're going to know where more of the enemies are so you don't really like forward intel i would just take that off and then you can add the tactical mass or you can add the flag check and then you can add both of those and so you're pretty much immune to all those annoying equipment or you can do the engineer this is just going to make it so you can see the equipment in the enemy's house so if you are running to the enemy's house you're going to be able to see if they approximate mines on the ground for perk 2 i recommend you guys to do quartermaster and this is just because you are going to have to use your smokes a lot and so quartermaster is going to make it so you can recharge that equipment over 25 seconds and for the second perk you want to do tracker just so you can find the enemies a little bit easier if you're hiding upstairs on the nuketown house you can hear some enemies you go downstairs you don't see them you still should be able to see their footprints and then you can just follow those to wherever they're hiding for perk three you want to do ghost and ninja this is what i found is the best i know spycraft is pretty good because you're pretty much immune to everything in the game but overall i think ninja and ghost is pretty good cold-blooded also is good so i would just go between these and find whichever one that works best for you i would say ninja is a must because you are going to be running up to enemies and you don't want them to hear your footsteps and obviously for the wild card you want to do perk greed and that's going to wrap it up for the first class now let's get into the second one so here is an overview of the second class as you guys can see it's pretty similar except for for the wild card i switched out the perk read for the danger close there is a challenge on the knife where you have to kill the enemies while they're smoked out and so this is just going to make it so you have two smokes making it so you should be able to get this challenge done a lot faster because you have two smokes instead of one and on top of that you get an extra tomahawk so if you miss that second one you got a second try for the perks i recommend to do tactical mass or flat check it and then for perk 2 do quartermaster and then obviously for perk 3 do you want to do ninja and that's going to wrap it up for the class portion of this video now let's get into the game modes so for the modes if you have a double xp token or you're playing on double xp weekend i would go into fire team and then just go in the most popular areas hide inside buildings wait for the enemies to come at you use one of these classes and just try to max out your knife because if you max it out and then go back and do the other challenges you actually can do a lot of the challenges at the same time if that makes sense so again if you have a double xp token or it's a double xp weekend go into fire team and try to max out your knife so your knife is maxed out or you're just trying to level it up without a double xp token or a weekend i would play nuketown 24 7. so pretty much the main strategy in this video is literally just to run face first at the enemies use your smokes try to get to the enemy's house and then you pretty much just hide upstairs wait for the enemies to walk past you and then you can get pretty much all your challenges done by just doing that also your kd is really not gonna like you after you get the knife gold pretty much the more you don't care about your kd the faster you'll complete the knife the more you care about your kd the slower you will complete the knife but so anyways that is gonna wrap it up for the modes now let's get into the kill streaks that you should be running so the kill streaks i like to run is the spy plane just so i can see where the enemies are at and then i like to do the counter spy plane to jam their radar so they don't know where i'm at for the third score streak you want to do armor just so you get some extra help it's not going to help you too much but it should help you win a couple more gunfights in that match or if you can get the harp a lot i would do the harp because it's going to show exactly where the enemies are facing making it so it's a lot easier to get those kills and that's going to wrap it up for these streaks now let's get into the actual camo challenges so to start things off for spray you have to kill 75 enemies in multiplayer this one is super easy it's gonna happen naturally for stripes you have to get 25 backstabber medals this one's actually gonna correlate with classic but sometimes if you run up behind an enemy it'll do the execution when you don't mean to sometimes it won't do it when you mean to so what i found is that if i hold down the melee button i'm more likely to do an execution rather than if i just tap the melee button so if you're just trying to get the backstabber medals i would just tap the melee button and if you're trying to get the execution medals then i would hold down the melee button and a tip for this challenge i would pretty much just play nuketown and i would try to get to the enemy's house run back and forward dodge the enemy's bullets jump up and down do whatever you have to do and just try to get to the enemy's house once you're in the enemy's house you want to go upstairs and you want to hide somewhere you want to listen for the enemies sometimes they'll just run upstairs they'll start shooting out the window then you can get some easy executions and it's less likely for a teammate to actually kill them while you're doing the execution because that's extremely annoying when you're doing the executions and your teammates or the enemies kill you or the enemy that you're executing for geometric you have to kill 50 enemies while injured in multiplayer for this one your kd is really not going to 
going to like you for this challenge. But what you should do is just literally run straight into mid. Just run right into the buses. You can smoke it out. And just try to kill enemies and keep on doing that until you get this challenge done. Because by the time you actually reach the enemies when you're just running straight at them, you should be almost dead. Therefore, it should be able to speed up this challenge if you just run straight at the enemies in Nuketown. For Flora Camo, you have to kill 50 enemies while sliding in multiplayer. So you actually could do this one while you're doing geometric. While you run into the middle of the map, you can just slide into their face. Or say you're in the enemy's house on Nuketown. If you know that there's a couple of them downstairs or in the garage, you can just go up behind them, slide into them, and kill them. So if you just do that, it shouldn't be too hard to complete this challenge. For Science, so this one is actually the hardest challenge on this list. So for this challenge, you have to kill 50 enemies that are disoriented by smoke, blast, or stun grenades in multiplayer. I recommend to do this with the smoke because it has the longest duration that's actually on the field. So if you throw a smoke on the enemy, you're going to have a longer time to kill them rather than if you just stun and flash them. And half the time when you stun and flash them, you stun yourself. And so if you don't want to have to worry about stunning yourself and trying to get them really quick, I would do a smoke grenade. And on Nuketown 24-7, you want to focus on the modes of hardpoint domination because that's where you're going to really find the enemies clumped up. Typically in hardpoint, lots of the enemies are going to be in the hardpoint, so you just throw a smoke in there and then you can just run up to the enemies and kill them and this should count towards this challenge. Also for this challenge, you want to make sure you're running the Danger Close Wild Card, pretty much just this class in general. You just want to run this one because you get two smoke grenades and that just kind of makes sense. Having two smoke grenades is going to make this challenge a lot easier rather than if you just had one. And for the final camo, this is Psychedelic. You have to get a double kill 25 times in multiplayer. Honestly, this one's pretty easy if you're just playing aggressive. If you're using smokes and you can get good at dodging the enemy's bolts and you're just running straight in the mid, you should be able to naturally get lots of double kills or if you're hiding upstairs on the nuketown, then if you hear the enemies downstairs, you can run down there and maybe get two kills. So there isn't any real strat for this. You pretty much just got to be a ninja and you should naturally get it over time. And so I think that is going to wrap it up for this guide. If you guys have any questions, I'm always down in the comments section. So feel free to ask me a question if you need some help. But so anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope all of you have a great rest of your day and I'll hopefully see you in my next video.